Have you ever been listening to the radio over the past couple months and thought to yourself, I wish I could play the song Cheap Thrills by Sia on the guitar? Well, today's your lucky day because I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's actually a really easy song. There are just four chords in it that repeat throughout the verses and the choruses, so it's really easy to learn. First, we're going to start out with a few simple strumming patterns, and then I'll teach you the chords and then we'll put it together. Okay, so to start, we'll go over the strumming patterns. They're really easy, and I'm actually not even gonna use the guitar for the first part to show you. Okay, so the strumming pattern for the chorus is the easiest one, and it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Try that with me. One, two, three, one, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good job. And then the strumming pattern for the verses is similar to the chorus, but just a little different. So watch this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Try that with me. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And those are the two strumming patterns. You could make it more complicated if you want to, but for beginner guitar players like me and maybe like you, that's the easiest way to do it. So to put it into context, this is what they sound like. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the verse. And then the chorus, you're just playing through. Like the one, two, three, one, two, three. It sounds like this. Okay, so let's learn a little bit about these four chords that I mentioned. They are E minor, C, G, and D. So let me show you how to make those chords. Okay, so the first one is E minor. For E minor, you're going to want to put your point our finger on the fifth string here in the second fret and then your middle finger goes on the fourth string right above it also on the second fret. Everyone see that? That's E minor. Great okay so the next one is C and to make that one you are going to put your pointer finger on the second string from the top in the first fret and your middle finger actually stays in the same place it was for E minor um, second fret fourth string down and then your ring finger is going to come into play over here on the third fret um, fifth string from the top so that's what C looks like Okay, so the next chord is G, and we make that one by putting our ring finger on the third fret top string. And then our pointer finger is going to come over here to the second fret fifth string. 
And then last, we're going to put our middle finger again on the third fret, sixth string. So it'll look like that. Okay. That's a G. Okay, the last chord we're going to learn is a D. And how we do that is we're going to come over here to the second fret and we're going to put our middle finger on the top string, point our finger on the third string, so skip one, and then our ring finger is going to come over here and fill in that middle string but over here on the third fret. So it's kind of making a triangle with your fingers. That's a D. One thing to know about D on a guitar is you actually only really need to strum the top four strings. These strings aren't really in the chord of D, and it's going to sound a little weird if you strum them, so I would recommend just starting with the fourth string, not even worrying about the bottom two. And that's D. Ready to put it all together? Okay, so we're going to start back at E minor and go from there. We'll go slow. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. C. G. Come up here to D. So if you're ready to go, then I will show you the verse strumming pattern, which if you remember was the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's similar to what we've been doing, but it just involves a stop on the third beat of the sound to make it a little cooler for the verses. So it'll look like this. So you're just stopping the sound with your hand on that third beat to create a little rest. Okay, so let's try one round of doing the verse strumming and then go into the chorus strumming because that's what we're going to be switching back and forth with in the song. How did that go? It's only slightly different and these are pretty simple patterns so with some practice should be able to get it. Let's go ahead and try the whole song. It goes verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then chorus one more time. Ready? Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Time to do my hair, put my makeup on. It's Friday night and I won't be long till I hit the dance floor, hit the dance floor. I got all I need. No, I ain't got cash, I ain't got cash, but I got you, baby. Baby, I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. I don't Turn the radio on, it's Saturday and I won't be long. Got 
got to paint my nails, put my high heels on. It's Saturday and I won't be long till I hit the dance floor, hit the dance floor. I got all I need. No, I ain't got cash. I ain't got cash, but I got you, baby. Baby, I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. I don't need no money as long as I can feel the beat. I don't need no money as long as I keep dancing. I don't need no So there you have it. Now you can play Cheap Thrills by Sia. Happy practicing.